Gunpa TV, Gunpa Builders Philippines. Today we are joined by Nico Saratos. So, Nico, um, tell us about yourself. So, I'm Nico Saratos, 20 years old. I'm a Gunpla modeler and a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber? Okay. Yeah, I have a YouTube self titled Nico Saratos. Okay, do you have Instagram? Any I other channels? I have Facebook Instagram, page. Nico Saratos. I have a Patreon account. Nico Soratos as well. Nico Soratos, Patreon. Find it. Uh, yeah. And I recently uh, made my own Facebook page then. Okay. Under Nico Follow. Soratos. Nico Soratos. Alright, cool. Um, so, okay, um, what did you used to do before you got into Gunpla? I used to study. Uh, <laughs> I super. was a normal kid. Na I played, I studied, I... Yun, yun lang. I'm a regular course? student. Wala. Wala. Oh, of course. Alright, so, real quick here, um, just to remind people, GMKC, GBWC, how many wins? GBWC, I have two bronze from the junior category and two championships in the under 20 category. So, four GBWC wins and one Silver trophy uh sa GMPs. Okay. Um so how old were you when you started building? I was eight years old when I started building. Good job, Daddy. Um and then I joined then that same year at eight years old. But after that I stopped. Um I don't know, I don't remember the For what reason why. did you stop? I don't re remember. Parang Wala, I just stopped. I I guess na ubusan ako ng bubo ay ng gantla. So mm -hmm. I came back eleven years old. Mm -hmm. Parang I think I just wanted another medal or parang I mm -hmm. wanted a silver naman kasi I had bronze. So when you I say bronze. All right, when you say that you wanted another medal, was was that for yourself or was that to impress the parents at that age? For myself, um, wala. I, Palagi ko lang sinasabi na, I want a trophy, like my dad, I want a medal. And then he'd say, okay, sali ka din. Tapos yun. Pero after that, 11 years old, I stopped na ulit. I focused on studying. And then I came back, parang I got serious with Gunpla, 16, 17 years old. Tapos yun na, ever since. So, yun. 8 years old, 11 years old, then 16 and onwards. Okay, um, did you ever watch any Gundam shows? I tried when I she when tried. 16 ako, um, I decided to watch Iron Blooded Orphans oh. kasi that was parang that was the show that time. Yeah, Pero but it's for kids, though. I don't really watch animes kasi so mm. yung Gunpla I tried pero I only got parang 3 episodes to Sulana. Okay, okay. Understood, understood. Okay, so describe your first entry. Like your first ever entry, My you were eight, eight years old. My first ever entry, I was eight years old. I don't remember the kits. Basta I know it was an SD kit. Mm. Na probably price ni daddy before. SD mm. kit na I spray painted it pink overall. Mm, mm. And then, Nightingale ata, another SD kit na Nightingale. Mm. Na I did a camouflage painting with sponge. Mm, sponge, tapos, okay. Nil, tapos, na-stuck siya sa ibabaw ng puno. With the sign that says help in Japanese. Do, then, do, you, do you still have that kit? It's still there, but it's not buo pa din like this. Okay, okay. Understood, understood. Alright. Um, now that we've got over your uh, first entry, can you describe for us your first winning entry? When I say winning entry, it doesn't have to be gold. Um, it could be a silver or a bronze. That's it then. The SD na pink that got me the bronze. Mm. In the junior category, no, 2011. 2011, okay. Um, how was your experience with GMKC, GBWC, coming into it as a child? May pressure pa? Did you think you, you can't win? How was it overall as a child? I honestly don't remember much because that's what 11 years ago. Na rin. Mm. Um, pero I think. Uh, I was really focused and gusto ko din manalo kasi every night yon after um, school, I would airbrush, I, would, I mean, mm. net, not airbrush, I would spray can, I would work on the diorama, tas yun. Pero 
that time na I entered, parang wala lang. I just entered it. Tapos, I think tatlo lang kaming entries. Okay. So, in describe time. yung feeling mo when you got your first gold in your category. I got my first gold last year. And, of course, it was super nice na I won. Tapos, I was actually uh, doubting na baka Rowan, the second place. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's been joining then for the past five years at that time. Shout out um, to that guy. Mm-hmm. His work was really nice. It was kit bash, nice painting and everything. So I was thinking na, okay, maybe I'll get the silver kasi he'll get the gold. So when I won, it was super, super nice kasi it's gold. It's mm, champion. Of course. And how did that make you feel? I immediately wanted to start on my <laughs> on next year's okay. entry kasi para, okay, let's do another one, just let's win again. I guess, ano, um, pursuant to what you mentioned before, I guess this is what separates yung like Gunpla dads like me and every other Gunpla builder is the thought process or the mindset now. When you get a bit of recognition, regardless, if we bronze, pero yun you got gold, um, the desire to build the next one is there. Mm. And I think that's a uh, common trait sa mga champions that we will be interviewing. Alright, awesome, awesome. Okay, um, first win, second win. Okay, so was there ever a time in your life where you felt na, ah, maybe I should just stop doing this? Not yet. Not yet. Because um, it's only been like, I started my YouTube channel. Parang that's yun yung basihan namin ng kung gano'n ako katagal eh, na serious sa Gunpla. Mm. I started it two years ago mm. pa lang, so that's pretty early for yeah. me to feel na to feel na ayoko na, na burn out ako. Eh, plus you want. Yeah. Tas, back to ayaw. back, baby. Back to back. <laughs> so, I haven't felt that yet. Okay. Oh, so, siguro, um, words of inspiration, right? So, what keeps you going? What keeps me going, I think, is because I really like working with my hands. Parang mm. I love crafting, especially diorama. So with Gunpla, um, the possibilities are endless. So, um, lahat ng ideas ko, I can do it if I have the skills. So, I just keep going kasi I know I'll improve and eventually I'll get to do all of my ideas. Exactly. Uh, you explained that in one of your YouTube videos where you were working with your entry for this year, you mm-hmm. felt that the tubes were a bit too small, so you created it yourself. You actually um, detach yung rear armor skirt to show a bit of the engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody who's ever watched her channel knows that that's the way that she thinks. Okay, so what's like the biggest challenge you've encountered so far when coming into these competitions or just in building Gunpla in general? I think the biggest challenge is the time especially with mm. competitions um you never get enough time talaga with with pieces with your entries kasi every time you're working on it you suddenly see na oh i can do this i can mm. add this kasi every time you add more details it doesn't really get panget eh. it's not gonna mm. be any uglier well, you add details rushed, diba? yeah. you yeah. add details and then it's just gonna get better and better pero your uh, limited by that time. Exactly. So, and that's the exact same thing you mentioned in your latest video when you were doing your entry, right? Mm. The biggest challenge was time because you didn't know yung rules. You were waiting for the mm. specific rule set and uh, you could have been building that, right? Okay. Right. Um, so yeah, that's uh, for, I guess that's the easy questions. Eh. Um, dito tayo sa medium to hard questions. So what's your favorite Gunpla model kit? Favorite? Super favorite ko before, RX-78-2. And then now, Gundam Ariel na. Ariel, of course. Um, okay. Time for a personal question. Um, you're the daughter of uh, a certain former champion and a certain famous Filipino in Patreon. His name I dare not mention. <laughs> Pero, um, have you ever felt, or somebody once said that, when will she get out of his shadow? Before, when I started, nung 16 ako, parang, ah, uh, the reason why I started my YouTube, kasi I feel, wala pa naman nagsabi, or I never heard it before, pero I feel like, um, 
people will say or they mag-gossip sila na parang, oh, hindi naman niya gawain eh, her dad help her, gano'n, gano'n. Mm. Kasi that's, mm. parang that's a reasonable doubt na they will have. They will have. So, I started my YouTube channel so people can see na I, I build Gunpla, I can do what I show. Tapos, mm. uh, the video is, uh, part of your video was actually, uh, you mentioned something eh. I think a certain idol or parent of yours also competed in the previous years and you were, you said something like I'm not in these exact words I know but you said something like it's ta it's time to stop paying tribute to him and his work this is all me mm -hmm. so w w um I'm we just curious on all where is that coming from It's actually ano kasi parang it's an inside joke between us uh, last year. Between the champions. Yeah, last year or Can we say that? Years ago, between the champions. Okay. Uh, we did a build up para, and we were joking na, let's see who's better. Let's um, mm. let our subscribers decide if you're better than me already or not. So, it's an inside joke that until now, um, we joke about it that I'm better than him now and I can do things that he can't do anymore but it's it's just harmless fun between us that's exactly what you mentioned in your video. You wanted to showcase a diorama wherein you can do things that were taught to you and you notice that your dad isn't doing, diba? Right? So yeah, um I'm in a bit of a pickle. Eh? Kasi you're in the um you're in a different category. You're in the under 21 category. So I guess my next question is given the chance. No, let's say, let's say that Don Soratos competes and you compete in the same category. Ano ba Is it all out? Actually, no daddy, no daughter? Actually, Are you excited about it? Na parang um, next next year I'll be in the same category category as him if he next, joins. Next year, if he joins. Tapos we're thinking na oh it'll be the biggest build off that we'll do because it's a competition. Pero parang we're thinking na tayong dalawa lang yung maglalaban. Mm. And we'll see if you're actually better now or not than him. So, Silver Guy, Armor so, Komodo, you heard that. <laughs> Directly for the Soratos, huh? Sila lang maglalaban. And kidding aside, um, so you're excited. Um, two years from now, you will face off with your dad, be it GMKC or GBWC. What's that other, ano? What's that other competition? Ah, wag na yun, importante yun. Sa <laughs> Mega Pinay. God damn it. Anyway, um, uh, let's, um, uh, let's just say na, ano? Um, let's move on. Uh, hayaan mo sila, dear friends. What's up? Uh, <laughs> what, three, four times silver? Yeah, you, you guys got this. Um, Okay, um, do you think, well, you've won, definitely, right? It's never been done before, I guess, in your category. But you've won back-to-back. -back. Do you think you can still win next year in your category? GBWC 2024. I'm not talking about GMKC. I'm talking about GBWC. Well, it's always been the plan to just improve and um, hopefully keep on winning. Pero obviously, I don't want to say that I'm 100% sure because... Mm. We don't know somebody might come in and they they did something better than me. But hopefully I do win again the the gold next year. So uh, this year. Okay. Uh, next this year. year. So that being said, it's confirmed. You are joining GMKC? GMKC I'm not sure yet. It, what about GBWC? GBWC I'm sure I will join. Okay. So that's it. That's uh Nico Soratos share your channels. I have a YouTube channel. They he should probably put the link down below. Uh, it's Nico Saratos. I also have Instagram, Nico Saratos again, and Patreon account. Oh yeah, so she will be um going to Japan, right? She will be representing the Philippines for the uh, under twenty one category. All right, so thank you so much, Nico Saratos. Um, until next time, stay classy.